Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk about something that's extremely important. If you are fasting or if you are on the uh, keto diet. Um, this is something that I realized over the past couple of weeks. And if you have been subscribed to my channel for some time now, as you can see, <laughs> I haven't uploaded in the past couple of weeks. And again, it's been because I've been extremely busy with all kinds of things. And um, if you saw my last video, I was talking about how there was the potential of me joining the police academy. Well, then update on that is I got the approval email. So <laughs> at least uh, I got approved for the first stage of being able to join the police academy. So that's uh, good news there. Um, I'm not sure what happens next, but I'm waiting for the call for me to go in and, uh, you know, just go to the next uh, the next step. But um, as far as it, if you're on the keto diet or if you're fasting, there's something you are always told that you must adhere to that I been doing. But for the past couple of weeks, for some reason, I've been slipping up on and I started to reap a lot of the negative consequences of it. And that is salt. OK, when you do this type of diet, your body or, or fasting, your body is depleting your glycogen, your glycogen stores from your liver. There's no carbs in your body. And with that goes fluid. And with fluid loss goes salt and electrolytes from your body as well. With all of that, all that's gonna end up doing is causing a myriad of problems, all right? And that's what ended up happening. I started having mood changes. I was having cramps and headaches and feeling just completely off okay that's what happens when you don't get enough salt in your diet now typically i would get up in the morning and i would take like a quarter teaspoon or maybe even a half teaspoon of salt but there was many a times i didn't do it and i ended up paying the price for it okay so my biggest advice to you is do not take that lightly do not be afraid of salt if you're going to do fasting or um uh, the keto diet or like carnivore diet or anything like that you must get an adequate amount of salt and obviously you know the best salt to take is the pink himalayan salt um so make sure that you're getting a good amount now for me uh i think for me based off of what i do and my body weight and things like that i think i need around two to three teaspoons a day and you want to get that from taking it straight or obviously putting it on your food now for you it may be a lot more different if it's smaller um if you're younger or older i'm not sure so you have to research this stuff yourself but for me it's around two to three teaspoons a day there were times where i would pretty much get like maybe even a half a teaspoon for the whole day not good <laughs> that's going to cause a lot of problems okay so uh, oh yeah and another uh, symptom too is that you'll start feeling dizzy and if you're really bad off you can end up even fainting all right that's how serious it is so long story short get salt in your diet it, especially if you're doing intermittent fasting uh, uh long term to definitely long term fasting um or if you're doing a keto or carnivore diet do not neglect salt all right so just want to do a, a quick update and also get that message out there uh and uh hopefully it helped you hopefully you know like if you're experiencing certain problems hopefully it uh gave you uh, an answer to like oh wow you know i need more salt or something like that so all right so that's pretty much about it for this video if you like this video please like it please share it and if you're new here please consider subscribing for more content to come my name is david barnes i thank you so much for watching this video please stay safe out there and i'll see you in the next one